Oh, for God's sake, freaking screenshots. Um, Alright, we're back, and I'm going to try and do a quick one here. Um, don't know if I'm going to finish it, probably not, but this is Surface Tension. Uh, you're returning to Seraphim 7, the location of Shiva Prime to face off against Commander Gage. You don't know what to expect, so you should be ready for everything and anything. It's supposed to be anything, but I said everything, because I am a derp. And I probably shouldn't record during loading screens because I only have one hard drive, and I also shouldn't move my microphone around while recording because it probably makes little noises that you guys can hear. But that's what professional people do, and I am not professional, in case you haven't noticed it. Um, but regardless, we should be done loading. There we go. Let's get this started. Hopefully finish this mission. That's a little loud. But don't worry, because now I can edit the audio in the post-recording stage, and that is Shiva, by the way. I, I think that's what it's called. That's the terraformer thing they keep talking about. Whatever it's called. And it's lifting off like a boss. It would appear that I have greatly underestimated Commander Gage's ability to get the eco-synthesizer online. I oh, really? If you press enough buttons, you will inevitably find the correct combination. Shiva hasn't left the upper atmosphere yet. I can still reach it from the teleporter. Wait. An ACU just teleported down from Shiva. Oh my god. Ugh, another Cybron. I just got done fighting one of your kind. Commander Stockwell, I'll guarantee you a safe return to Altair 2 if you stand down. I'm holding this position until the rest of the Guardians get here. No oh, really? one's coming. Then I guess you're gonna have to go through me. This is and we an start. This Commander Stockwell has access to both her own units and those which Commander Gage presumably left behind to defend the teleporter. I don't have time for this. That's not usually a good sign, is it? So let's get some factories and stuff up real quick. And you start with aircraft that are in a patrol around here. I want to leave them on that patrol, and I'm going to upgrade... What did I want to upgrade? I wanted to upgrade land. Um, well, that megalith is what I want. Repair rate, maybe... And I want a bit of air as well, because I already have air, so I'm going to be using it. Um, so let's get them some health upgrade. There we go. And I can't see my research because the stupid frame rate indicator is in the way. I can kind of see it a little bit, maybe. But whatevs. Am I missing something? Or are those destroyers trying oh my to get my units? Commander Gage should not have access to my experimental naval leg technology. Oh my god. The boats are inbound. And this is what I'm going to use my planes for. Oops. I'm going to have them pull back when they're done, and I can't see them anymore, which is just fantastic. Because I don't have radar. Derp. I forgot about that little factor there. I don't have radar. You people need to move, because you're getting shot. And getting shot is not good because these people have large guns. And I keep telling them to move instead of Commander kill things. I do have shield dudes, but I mean, the mobile shields are absolutely terrible in comparison with everything else useful. I believe I've lost a couple planes. Yeah. Yes, the destroyers are down. I so lost a few planes. On giving me that amphibious technology. Yeah, bro. I only make it available to you when I feel you're ready. I think I'm ready. Thank you. Not that I'm going to use them, but thank you nonetheless. And I hit the Z button for some reason. So what I want to do is build more of those uh, loyalists, probably. Whenever I get more resources, I'm having a bit of a resource problem right now. But to fix that, I can suck up these destroyers. Or not. I guess he's gonna suck that one up first. Whatevs, bro. Let's see here. And now you can get the. Where is it at? 
it's not, there it is, the Land Emergence Galleon system, as it's called. Uh, and I think you can also get experimental. Apparently we only have one experimental, though, which is the Kraken, which I find to be moderately terrible. So I'm not going to use it. But I am going to do that. Should have done that earlier, but... Whatevs. You can't have it all. And time to build more loyalists. Who are we to be in possession of something with this much power? We have no ill intentions. This Indeed. technology can benefit the cyber nation and all other sentient life in the universe. Are you sure? Are you in fact sure of this? Probably not. Um, and air units do continue to randomly attack you as time goes on, and there's some more destroyers down there. I like destroyers. I hope you guys like destroyers, because they're going to keep coming. Regardless of what you want. I'm just going to set my engineers on a little patrol there to get the planes as they die. I think it's only one destroyer. Well, I only see one, so we're going to go check it out. Not while there's planes coming in. He stopped. Why did he stop? And he's going again. What are you doing, good sir? He's turning back around, actually, so I'm going to break off. It's a carrier. It's a carrier. Fantastic. Those planes are going to die. I did not know it was a carrier. I'm going to build a couple anti-air towers around just in case because they have carriers. Carriers are not good. And that thing's being bombed. Luckily it shouldn't matter too much because I have anti-air dudes over here, so whatevs. Whatever. And I have my engineers patrolling around, so they will repair this stuff, so it shouldn't matter. Um, and the ACU's way the crap over here. Uh, and then there's this cool thing in the background, I'm not sure. I think that's where Shiva was docked at. It's pretty cool looking back there. Can't actually do anything with it, but it's back there. And I lost a plane. Yay, losing planes. Okay, so those factories are done building those things. Let's build a few more. Along with some anti-air dudes. That should be good. That'll be building for a while now. In the meantime, I'm going to need to expand out to that. Because I don't have enough resources over here, really. And once again, as far as I know, there's no way to increase it with Cybran, so... Kinda stuck with what you got. I also need more research buildings. Because without research buildings, I cannot research. And I like how these guys just keep giving me more resources. I like when they do that. Now I have plus 16. Is it because he's sucking something up? Yeah, he's sucking something up. I gotta keep my eye out for destroyers and stuff over there. Um, I wanted to build it over there, but I cannot, so I guess I'll just have to build it right there. It's not the optimal place, in my opinion. Not that my opinion really matters. And I am going to build another radar station over here. Just to give me a bit more range in this direction. Is the range on that? I can't tell. How do I? I don't know. And I'm supposed to research that. I don't know why, but it takes six, so I may as well do that. It takes six and gives me what? What does it give me? No, damn it. What do I get for doing this? I don't know. Hopefully more than six. Otherwise, that's kind of pointless. What I should do actually is do that. 
Come on. There we go. Decrease the cost of building over here. And I will want shields eventually, so... These dudes duking it out for no apparent reason, and he's gonna die. And then I'll be out of planes, and now I can see a little bit of their base, little nub over here, and probably another aircraft carrier. I love aircraft carriers. That is so fun. Do I need that? No, not really. Still not a whole lot of mass coming in, because it only gives me one per spot, which is retardedly low, in my opinion. But my opinion doesn't matter, so whatever. I'm gonna build some research buildings. Strewn about. I probably should build that one first, but whatever. I can't speed it up, so we're gonna wait. Yay for waiting. How much more to those? One more. Is that an aircraft carrier? That's getting awfully close to me to be an aircraft carrier. Yes, it's an aircraft carrier. Well, you're dead. What is it doing? And why is it getting so close to me? Because it has gunships is why it's getting so close to me. That thing's gonna die. Uh, yep. And so is my engineer, maybe, probably. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, sigh. When we retake control of this device, humanity will bend to our will. I can't hit him because he's too far away. Which means that's going to die. Yay. And he's just going to sit there and build planes, apparently. Maybe I can get to him. I don't know. We'll try. Couldn't hurt too badly to try. It could hurt really badly to try, but... Come on, can you hit him? Hey, we can hit him. There we go. Now that annoyance is out of the way. I'm gonna need someone to rebuild that. And he's done building things, thankfully. So I'm gonna get shields up. I like shields. I don't know if you noticed this, but I like shields. And I'm gonna build some replacements for those guys. Just very slowly. Very slowly build replacements for those. Because I'm going to move them on the offensive. Yay. Should actually move them down that way to check for... Uh, Whatever those things are called. Those little things that you explode and get research points. Research cache, that's what it's called. What was you doing, sir? What did I want him to do? Nothing, really. Just sit there and look pretty. You all are supposed to be walking in formation. Why are you not walking in formation? It's no more destroyers, which is odd, but... I thought there'd be destroyers by now. Five more. I don't think there are any tech caches over here. I think I'd be able to see it if there were. Oh, there is. I guess I just can't see it. Is there one back there? No, there wasn't, but there I walked through there. Yay, tech cache. Now I can put shields up on these things so they stop exploding so much. 
I hate when things explode all the time. It's kind of disheartening. I have granted you access to my land walking technology. Do you not wish to walk your mighty naval units across the land? No, not particularly. But since you keep annoying me about it, naval units are actually pretty strong. But uh, I usually don't use them. I mean, you can easily walk naval units right up into her base right there, so... I guess it would be a better idea to use naval units. But when was the last time I did something the better way? Never. I tell you, never. Maybe. Maybe never, I don't know. I probably did it the right way at some point. Is there going to be another tech cache down here? No. And why are you people so slow? They always fall behind as what they're doing. They're all ranked up pretty high, wow. Some of those guys? No. Just probably from shooting air. And they're shooting missiles at us, and there's a bunch of planes right there. Probably from the aircraft carrier. That's a lot of planes, actually. That's not good. How far can you flee? My god, what is shooting at me? There's gotta be a lot of something back there shooting at me. Probably a lot of uh, destroyers or something back there. Flee! There, are you happy? Now you can deploy naval units what do I get for that? Land. Nothing. Defeat the carriers, one out of three. There's another one right there, because I saw it. It attacked me. And these guys survived, so they can go meet up with them whenever they feel like it. I don't need my commander over there. Um, let's get a land gantry up, shall we? Perhaps I can get a experimental going eventually here. What else do I want? I want long range artillery, that'd be pretty nice. Just to soften targets before I get to them. Seriously, you are so slow. Look at the gap. Oh, I hate that so much. I can't just tell them to walk in formation like you could before. Power detonate is kind of gay. Radar would be nice, though. So I'm gonna get it. What else can we see? We can see there's a whole bunch of everything back there. Apparently, they have a bunch of things. Can I build one? Hey, I can. Let's build two. You help it. Let's get my production going here. Now, the quicker way to get to artillery, if that's all you want, is to just go through the top here. But, uh, rate of fire here actually affects the artillery, so it's actually a good idea to go this way, which is going to cost a lot more. But I don't need sonar anyway, so I'm not going to waste a point on it. What are you doing? He's doing something. What is he doing? Oh, he's sucking up a plane that was probably under there. And look, I have an actual offensive army. Oh my god. 48 units. Not very much. Plus 2 megaliths. It's not too bad, actually. I doubt it'll be enough to kill them, but it shouldn't be too bad. Plus, once I get the artillery up, that should help tremendously. And they're bombing me again. Yay, bombing. Once this guy's done, I'll send my attack force out and start building a new one. Actually, I can start building a new one right now. I don't see why I'd have to wait. 10 of you, 15 of you, 5 of you, 5 of you, 10 of you. See how that goes for now. I don't think, what other... No, that's all the experimentals we have so far. Hmm. Once I get heavy artillery, I'll have to start upgrading my land units. Which means I'm going to want to build more of these. 
Because I like those. Everyone likes those, theoretically. And they're attacking my dudes. I don't appreciate that. I, just, I don't think I lost any, did I? Yep, I lost them. And nine more to artillery. And off my little army goes. Hopefully with less air assaults on the way, because that's kind of annoying. But we can start building my next one while they're on their way, very slowly. I don't know why they did that. They made the back of it wiggle. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the back of the thing waves, wiggles back and forth as it walks. Don't know why they did that. And there's destroyers over there. Ah, oh, fantastic. And I just moved my army. Is that going to get done anytime soon? Because if it's not, we might have a problem. I'm gonna lose that power plant. You have destroyers yeah. moving into rig. Oh really? I had not noticed, thank you. Am I gonna get that too? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. If I don't lose any, that'd be great. Come on, can we do it without losing any? I don't know how many I sent over there, but sure. I don't see any wreckage from my guys, so I'll just assume we made it without losing any. Can you get out of his way? Thank you. Jesus. And... what are you doing? You retard. Good lord. Good lord, I have to babysit these people. And there's a whole bunch of dead stuff over here. And one of my Megalus is hurt, so they probably sent another air attack over there. There's some boats. What are they doing? More destroyers. Fantastic. I love destroyers. Oh, I hate you. Get out of the way. There we go. Good lord. I'm just gonna have to keep a megalith or something over here to kill them. Alright, stop helping that. What is the range on these? Have to build it up there to get decent range. So let's move my commander up there and build a shield. Hmm. I don't like how they're going behind me. I don't like that at all. They're going pretty fast, too. They're not messing around with the speed in those things. We should be fine, though. We have three megaliths over here, so... It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yeah, those are destroyers zooming around. Come on, someone kill it. Someone's just firing a laser continuously for no apparent reason. And there's another boat over there. Not sure what that is. Is it another carrier? I hope not. Because I hate carriers. I am detecting one of my experimental. Oh hi, Kraken. Be careful, my child. Luckily, we have these guys who are apparently capable of shooting submerged Kraken. That seems like something that shouldn't happen. My glorious Kraken is at rest. Indeed. If you let him get back there, he'll show up right here and then just sub uh, not submerge. Ascend or whatever. Rise up and then he'll just start blowing the crap out of your base if you just leave him alone. And time to try and spew out some artillery here. Four should be good and that'll take like all of my resources ever, assuming that ever gets finished. Um, let's start my assault, my initial assault. Whoops. Shall we? And that's a lot of destroyers over there. 
They're just building all sorts of crap and sending it at me now. Good lord. Super easy until that started happening. And I forgot to rebuild my power plant, but I guess I don't really need it. What's up? Destroyer vs. Megalith. You can't handle me. Don't even try. And they blew up my other power plant. I hate these guys so very much. I have to get someone to rebuild those things eventually. Let's get my anti-air up in the fight here. And this person doesn't mess around with their defensive lines either, they get double layer defense lines. Which works surprisingly well. And I want my anti-air guys up in here so they shoot these, uh, these bombers before they get too much of a threat. Just shooting that. And my artillery's done, as it turns out. And their destroyers are shooting at me. Start blowing up that defense line so my next assault can handle it well. Assuming I have a next assault anyway. Those aren't amphibious, sadly. And there's no need to blow those up because they're not going to be a threat anymore. Because I don't need to go to there. I may do this with just one assault, that seems kind of unlikely. I remember having more issues with this before, but I wasn't nearly as good before. If I don't, I have plenty on this next assault to kill it, I'm pretty sure. That is, of course, assuming I don't kill them on this one. There's the commander. Laser beam. Once you see the commander in these missions, don't even bother shooting anything else, just shoot the commander, because once the commander's dead, it's over. And the commander's not going to heal very quickly either, so if you get him down low, it's pretty easy to take him out on the next assault. But we've got this one on the first run, assuming that's the end of it. I forgot to blow up the carriers. Whoops. You continue to impress me with your combat prowess, Ivan. Thank you. You taught me everything I know. Not everything, my boy. You already possess knowledge and skills which I can barely comprehend. Oh please, that guy's still your shooting his laser down there. Is unlimited. Laser beams. It's time to face Commander Gage and take back control of Shiva. Yes. Creatures like Commander Gage or these guardians. I'm gonna cut it off after this mission, so I'll see you guys next time whenever this ends and we here. Are, we are men of science. We only wish to study and use this device for the betterment of mankind. Enough of this discussion. Operation completed. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time.